I like how Riku feels sort of sorry because of what he did in the first game, which is so cool! Oh my god, there's, it's not a remix, it's the original, yes! Not that I hate remixes, remixes are great, but still, it's the original, yes! It makes me a happy human being. It makes me a super happy human being. You shoot a laser, which annoys me. Now you're dead. Ha 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 Into the belly of the beast. Oh my god, it's so good. This is beautiful. To me, this is, so far is the best world. Just because of this. It's Kingdom Hearts 1. It is Kingdom Hearts 1. You've paralyzed me, that's not fair. Die. Oh my god, I can't believe how good this is. It's so, so good. Another thing I like about it is you actually get to hear the re the song in its entirety because there's so many enemies in here, which I feel was something that was hard to do in in the first game. It was hard to hear the entire song. You can do it in this game. It's great they were using music from Kingdom Hearts 1 though, because music in Kingdom Hearts 1 was easily some of the best I've ever heard. Easily. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. Imagine doing this in Kingdom Hearts 1, skipping half the level. <laughs> Giant chest. Ah, Sir Kairu recipe. Interesting. I dubbed the Sir Kairu. Oh, yeah, I've just remembered. We go to Travis Town a second time. So that's probably after this world. So there's, there's pretty much, so there's essentially four more worlds left, because we'll have to do that again. Yeah, I forgot about that. So yeah, there's, there's the two after this, and I know what they are, I'm not going to spoil them though. Um, and Travis Town, then the final world. Again, I know what it is, but I'm not going to spoil it. I, I want to leave the best world of the game a surprise. Another huge chest. Mini. Okay. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Where should we go? I don't know why the trampoline things are there. I mean, yeah, it sort of helps, but I can jump infinitely, technically, so you know. Oh, we didn't even see that door. This is exactly like the first game. I missed doors very easily. It's deja vu. Pinocchio! Jiminy! Let him go now! Uh. Uh. Thank goodness! Are you alright? Riku and I look for you everywhere. Uh-huh. I'm just fine. Sorry, Jiminy. I messed up real bad. You and Father must have been so worried about me. Why, Pinocchio? I think you just might be finally starting to learn. Who are you? That 
was my, my dark side. I gave in to the darkness once, and ever since, it's chased me around in one form or another. The seeker of darkness who stole my body. A puppet replica of the shadows in my heart. And now, I'm facing me. Your dark side? Gee, Riku, don't you have a Jiminy like I do? He's my conscience. He's taught me all kinds of important stuff. Maybe you just need somebody to show you what's right and wrong. Sure. You can't shoulder all your problems alone, you know. You must have somebody. A friend you can talk to? Yeah. Actually, I do. That stupid grin he's always wearing. He's the best teacher I could ever have. Gee whiz, I wish I had lots of good friends. You will, Pinocchio. More than you can count. <sighs> what now? Is something in there? Pinocchio, Jiminy, you should head back. I'll see what's shaking things up. Okay. okay. Chain of Memories Chronicle, cool. So Donald and Goofy had been searching for Riku and King Mickey for some time before Sora came face to face with a man in a black coat who guided them to a place called Castle Oblivion. Fucking hell, that was a mouthful. <laughs> there the man gave them a card which he said was constructed from Sora's memories. Sora and friends began exploring the worlds and within this and other cards like it. Malusha, the... I thought... His, I thought, first of all, when I first played the game, I thought it was a her, and secondly, I thought it was pronounced Marluxia, Marluxia, not Marluxia. Marluxia, the man in the black coat and a member of, organiza of the organization, was using the powers of a girl named Namine to manipulate Sora's memory and take control of Sora's keyblade. Serving the organization were nobodies, a special type of being created when a person's heart was stolen or, and only their body and spirit m remained. As Sora made his way through the castle, his memories of Kairi were replaced with those of Namine. He had to fight Riku, who appeared in his dark form, and claimed Namine w was his to protect. Sora, worn out. Sora won out, and Riku vanished. One by one, Sora defeated the organization members who stood in his path. One of them, Axel, proved more slippery than the others, and seemed to be neither friend nor foe. Sora also learned that the Riku he had fought was just a replica manufactured by the organization. With this Riku's rep with this Riku's Riku replicas with this Riku replicas help Raga, Sora was able to strike Malusha down. Namine confessed to Sora of what she had done, but he did not hold it against her. She offered him a choice. He could either put his scattered memories back the way they were or lose all memory of this castle and keep and or keep the mem and lose the memories of this castle or keep the memories the way they are, were now. Sora chose to get his old memories back by going into a deep sleep until they could be repaired. But first, he promised Namine she would not be forgotten and that they would meet again. Meanwhile, Riku had found his way out of the realm between light and darkness, led by a mysterious voice. He made his way to Castle Oblivion, where the voice turned out to be Ansem, Ansem's. Riku made his way through the castle, battling Ansem and the darkness within him at every step. The organization had also noticed the darkness in Riku's heart and sought to use it for their own ends. While facing Alexius, one of the organization's members, R Riku was forced to summon the darkness within him and succumb to it. But somewhere far away, he heard King Mickey call out to him. Knowing King Mickey was watching over him, he um, gave Riku the strength to press on for the castle. With the power of darkness proving too great a temptation, Riku again seemed ready to be overtaken by Ansem, but this time King Mickey came to his rescue in person. The king gave him a special card, inside the card world. He discovered that the Ansem he had been fighting was actually a man named Diz. The man told Riku to find Namine and disappeared. Before Riku could reach Namine, he was confronted by the Riku replica. The real Riku won out, and the replica seemingly vanished. Namine offered to lock away Riku's memory of Ansem, but Riku knew he had, to f he had to face the darkness in his heart himself. He prevailed over Ansem and departed to Castle Oblivion with Mickey by his side. From then on, he resolved to shoulder both light and darkness and walk the road to dawn. Yay! Go Riku.